Well, good morning. Saturday morning, about 8.30 in the morning. Please stay right there, Kia, so I don't have to put my truck in the ditch. Thank you, Kia. Very, very obliged to you. Stay there, Cadillac, so I don't take out your door. All right, all right. What in the world do we got going on back here? A little minivan action. Little, there's always a bunch of ambulances around right here. I think this might be their little holding area. See if we can get around Mr. Uh, waiting for Dunkin' Donuts on Odyssey. I think we can. Like a glove. Needed a little bit of fuel. I uh, got the kids and the wife home, or the kid and the wife home, and didn't stop for any fuel to prolong the trip. So we'll get a little couple, maybe a hundred gallons here, because it's not the best price up here in. Uh, where are we at? Kind of by Traveler's Rest, South Carolina. But good morning. We're gonna go pick up this load, put it on a truck, go back home, because home is on the way to the drop. And uh, yeah, hang out with kids, enjoy the weekend, and see what next week holds after we drop. All right, so um, a lot of people talk about the best fuel cards and that kind of stuff, and where to buy your fuel. So there's different if to taxes for each state, of course, but First of all, always have good blocking fuel caps. And um, NAT, what is it, NATSE or something like that? Seems to be that people think that's the best fuel car, but that fuel card requires you to only get fuel up at TA Petro, which I have a problem with because of the um, work ethic and overall demeanor of their repair facilities that I've been to. And just the kind of overall uh, demeanor and feel of their truck stops mostly not not dogging right they're doing their thing but uh there's, a, there's better things out there so with that fuel card you're only allowed to fuel at ta petro and just check out this photo here read the caption and this is kind of how i feel about fuel there's different grades of fuel So now if you have that card, you believe in that card and all that, I don't, I'm not knocking you, but I'm just giving other people out there my perspective on that. Just get like QT has filtered guaranteed fuel. So that's kind of why I use them. But, um, and not only that, they have a good price on it too, without having to have a card. I get five cents off per gallon with their credit card. But um, Sphinx I think is pretty good too. $1.99, but they charge 10 cents a gallon more if you don't use cash. So who's who's carrying that much cash for fuel? I don't, so that's just food for thought. Check out those filters. The, the, there is a different quality of fuel um, out there. So um, know that TA Petro, I have a bad feeling of them, but you might have a great one. You might have a great experience with their fuel. Let me know in the comments, but that's my, fuel, my feeling on that fuel card and why they can get away with such cheap prices which is only about 10 cents cheaper than this, is because of the grade of the fuel. That's my thought process. Let me know what you guys think. And let's get a couple hundred gallons. We're just gonna get 100 gallons here because it is a little more expensive. Oh, the good old Sphinx. Such a good chicken. You might get something breakfast -y. I don't know. Sausage biscuit, hash browns. Probably get the chicken wrap. Buffalo chicken wrap. I don't know. We shall see. So when you're looking for your fuel card, just uh, look what's best for you around you. If you can get a five cent off like I do with the QT credit card. If you want to go with that uh, TA Petro card, go for it. Just uh, be wary of your fuel. Check that. I don't know if there's a way to check the filtration of it, but I've heard stories like this a couple times now where the fuel just hasn't been good quality grade. And that should play a, a factor into the fuel card you get. If it makes you only fuel up at certain spots, make sure those certain spots have some decent fuel on them. And it's a beautiful day, but man, it's 49 degrees out here, 50 degrees. You can almost see your breath a little bit in the sun. But we are heading up the mountain a little bit. Go get some Heinz. All right. Have you ever been up to North Carolina? Henderson County. Gorgeous up here. Leaves are changing. Got some fuel in the tanks. Just about uh, between quarter and a half. That was about 100 bucks, 150 bucks, sorry. It 
my rule of thumb for coming up in this lane, what they call, which, which is what they call different load starting points to ending points lanes, um, is that I'll go up here empty. I'll never go up here uh, loaded, 30,000, 35, 40,000 pounds. It's just really hard on the truck. Uh, it does have a little bit of grade even coming back down, but way less than it does going up. So this one is low, is heavy, it's 40,000. But it pays really good, 2700 bucks to Jacksonville, so come grab it, deliver Jacksonville. I'm going to get there early in the morning, even though it's a, I think it's a 10 a.m. appointment. Try and get there early and see if they can get it off the truck, but you never know. Yeah, it's pretty. 50 degrees up here, and the trees are changing. Winter is coming, as Jon Snow would say, Game of Thrones. Let's get up there. Have you ever been to the Biltmore in North Carolina, Asheville? We are going past it right now on the left. Lots of construction up here. And I'm so glad that my jigs work again. <clears throat> Makes it a lot easier coming through the mountains. A lot easier. And today is the last day for the uh, giveaway entry, guys. Click the description. There'll be a little uh, video from Truck and Wife at the end of this video. But um, yeah, $300 value today at 9 p.m. We will be doing the giveaway. We might go to the Lake House. So oh, that's a nice old, what is that, Nova? No, that's, what is that? I don't know what car that was, but nice red interior. Well restored, just uh, must have broke down. But yeah, giveaway will be tonight, $300 value, dash cam, 500 Ram McNally, um, and $100 cash to make up for it. We always try to do a $300 value, so there's a French board uh, river we just passed over right there. It's probably pretty cold right now, but uh, Truck and Wife and I had actually uh, white water rafted that last year. Pretty good time. Lots to do up here by Asheville. about to break off the 40 going up towards Knoxville. Here we go. Careful out here. Ooh. Got the whole uh, same car there. It's dangerous coming down that hill right there. T's and P's. About five miles away from the pickup. Here to good old Newport, Tennessee. Um, how do you pronounce this? Weagles? Weagles? They have a little truck stop on the back side of it. Really clean place. And they have, uh, I believe they have that kiosk food. There's a couple of cute puppies. We're going to come around the back side right off the exit. And uh, there you go. Truck and RV parking. Clean place. Not a lot of, uh, well, not parking. But just fuel, fuel island stuff. So take the turn wide and don't hit these rocks. Why they put those cones right there? Because maybe that's so you don't park the truck. Who knows? Who knows? Wiggles. W e i g e l s. I was gonna put it over there in the corner, but they got the fueling uh, holes to fill the tanks for fuel, so I don't wanna cover those up. So we'll be quick about it, because I just need to go to the bathroom. I don't need any fuel. Not too busy though, so. Fuel island etiquette. Always try to be courteous to other people. Got the Pepsi truck there though, so there's, not, there's a line up there to pull up to, but I'll block these fuel uh, manholes here and I'll be in the back of that Pepsi truck. Let's go see what they got inside here. You hear sirens everywhere. Everybody's headed to that uh, accident we just saw. Hey man, I should have got fuel here. I didn't realize it was that cheap. Talk about trip planning. That's a good deal. Uh, let's go uh, see what they got for food though. Man. We 
Yeah, they got some nice bathrooms too. Really clean place. Yeah. Very nice. And we got some food. Maybe a sub I'll get up there. Right. And they got fresh pizza. Sandwich. We'll see. Rise is half mile on the left. What do we got here? Well, that's a Sunoco. I've been to that plant right there on the right. It's like a um, recycling plant. They have bundles of uh, cardboard stuff. I've been there. But I delivered some kind of chemical to them, I think, in totes. I don't really remember. It looks like we have a score on the left of where we're going. So let's read some signs. Receiving shipping. Okay, shipping's right here. Oh, it's pretty, uh, pretty wide open. A couple cars here means people are working, which is good. A lot of room to turn this thing around, so. It's about lunch time, so let's see if they went to lunch. There we go. It says Phoenix Group, but it says Heinz Craft on the BOL, so who knows? So an hour and 15 minute, we're loaded. That's not bad at all. And it's a Maxwell House Coffee Lids. So uh, if you ever get some Maxwell House Coffee, maybe uh, we delivered the lids to you, who knows? Um, hello, Red Classic. And another thing about these, so I'm gonna talk about booking lanes and I'm gonna talk about uh, brokers and the weight that they disclose on the uh, apps. This is a convoy, convoy load and they put on there 44,000 pounds. And so, um, I get there now. I get my BOL. Oh, oh. that's not forty-four thousand pounds. We've got thirteen five. So that is a huge score for fuel mileage for wear and tear on a truck, especially for being up here in the mountains. So, um, yeah, the title of this video was um, "What's the best fuel card?" I don't have the "What's the best fuel card" for you guys. I know that the NATSC or NATSE card. That a lot of guys use um the only thing that's bad about it is it only makes you fuel at a couple places the main being ta petro and you saw earlier in the video the uh what that can do to your fuel system and and uh, wear out your injectors quicker which injectors cost a thousand dollars a piece guys plus labor thousand dollars just for the part you might be able to get some remanufactured ones a little cheaper but brand new oems about a thousand dollars a piece and you need six of them so Think about that with the fuel you're putting in your tanks and uh, I, I use the Lucas additive every, every other fill up just to help with lubricating the system also. I just rebuilt my fuel pump as preventative maintenance, did new uh, pistons in there or rollers, whatever they're called, uh, plungers, that's what they're called. So that's that. And another thing about booking lanes, like this lane up here, I had to come up deadhead about 100 miles to get to it. Um, luckily it's light, but this lane goes down to Jacksonville, Tennessee down to Jacksonville. Um, 
And why I like that better than going further down to Florida is it gives me an opportunity to get something else on the truck on Monday. Get this off the truck Monday, 10 a.m., 11 a.m., and then I can get something out of Jacksonville or I can shoot right up to Savannah and try to get something out of there. That's the biggest thing. If you take a load all the way down to Miami area, West Palm Beach area, you're most likely not getting anything back on the truck that day because you're going to have to reset your clock and then deadhead back up unless you want to put 80 cents a mile on your truck for 45,000 pounds, which is not advised by me. So that's what lanes are, guys. Like good places that end up in a good area, end up in a bad area. Price your loads accordingly. The further you go down to Florida, ask for a lot more money. You're going down to Miami, try and get three, 35, four grand, depending on how heavy it is and where it's coming from. Um, Orlando area, at least 2,500. Uh, I've rarely gotten over three into Orlando, um, but this was 27 going into Jacksonville, so that's awesome. But yeah, I don't have an um, end all say all for fuel cards, which is the title of this video. I'm just telling you, be wary of the actual grade of fuel you're getting. That means a lot of things compared to 20 cents uh, or 10 cents off discount over the life of a year. Sure, it saved you, I don't know, four, five, six hundred dollars, maybe, if you're fueling a lot. But is it worth um, redoing your motor or re having an injector go out for a thousand dollars? So, food for thought, guys. I'm gonna get down the hill, get to these kids, and. Uh, I'll end the video once I get down the hill because you never know what's going to happen on the way there. God bless and let's see what happens. Home sweet home. Let's go see these kids, wrap up this video, and uh, if you're around 9 p.m. Eastern time, uh, we'll be doing some live feed. Uh, Calling out the winner for this month's giveaway. First, I'm gonna get back to these kids. Probably take them to the park. See what crazy truck and wife's doing. And uh, we're actually working with Kaz Gear, C A Z G E A R, Kaz Gear out of uh, upstate New York. Great guys. He's working with us on some uh, some uh, merchandising questions we've had. So it's awesome of him to help us out. Thanks so much, Brian. And um, Really, really a blessing, man, because we don't know where to start with this. We don't want to pay too much for certain things, so we're very appreciative of all your help, man. I know you had a background in the trucking industry with your father, I believe, also, so it's awesome you can help us out. And uh, let's go see these kids' faces, get this video out to you guys, and then one last time, Truck and Wife will tell us about this giveaway after we see these kids. Hi. What's up, Truck and Wife? <laughs> what you doing? We got Papa here. Papa's here? Papa's here. Right. I've been coming here playing with your children. They're crazy. How you doing, Papa? Whoa! Hey! Oh my goodness! Hi, right, guys! What have you guys been doing? Okay, get on my arm. Hi, just stopping in to tell you about our giveaway this month. We're going to be giving away a Rand McNally dash cam 500 and $100 cash. You know the drill. Just click that description button. A link will pop up. You can click that link and you can enter to win. We do ask that you please like and subscribe. If you already are subscribed, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. But if you could head over to our Facebook and maybe share one of our videos from there, we'd really appreciate that as well. Good luck.